Good. So as you, uh, we talked before, you know, about 15% of the, pay, the operations done uh, in 2019 were revisions of previous bariatric surgeries. Um, we talked about that. You see here revisions um, from 6% 10 years ago, it, you know, almost doubled uh, last year. And I think mostly from the, coming from the sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, it is important for these patients, you know, the multidisciplinary evaluation, uh, reason for failure, uh, anatomical complications, alteration of the index procedure, poor adherence of the patient, the previous indication for surgery, uh, the symptoms is, is weight regain, insufficient weight loss, or recurrence of comorbidities. So uh, these patients all go back through the program because some of the patients, you know, mostly the sleep patients, they don't follow the diet. And, you know, we study them, and if it's a completely normal anatomy, well, it depends on um, what the, 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 you know, the condition is now. If they have diabetes again, they regain the weight, and so on. So this is an anatomical evaluation, upper GI, endoscopy, CT scan, not always uh, is necessary. Uh, op reports, sometimes it's very difficult because they're all operations. And again, the multidisciplinary evaluation of all these patients. These are some of the complications that we see. You can see here, um, this is very common, the kinked or the coiled sleeve, where the patient have the sleeve, once you take the bushy, like a recoils, and you have a stricture here, a stricture here, the incisura. Um, these patients have reflux, they throw up, they lose a lot of weight. Strictures, you know, the um, pseudoacalasia from a lab band, the candy case syndrome. Uh, so there's a lot of things that uh, the upper GI is very important. Um, let's go through here. So Ben, you know, the problem with the lab band, as we talked before, is if you don't have regular uh, follow-up and adjustments, it will not work. Slippage, powder dilatation, and erosion are the most common. Um, for powder dilatation, usually band deflation and re-evaluation. Some of these patients, once you deflate the band, the esophagus will go back, not to normal, but they will decrease the size, that they will stop throwing up and aspirating. Slippage, most of the time, the band needs to be removed. And erosions, uh, sometimes you can do this removal uh, endoscopically or sometimes surgically. You know, we always do an endoscopy before surgery on these patients because sometimes the erosion is asymptomatic and you don't want to be doing a gastric bypass or a sleeve if somebody has an erosion um, because it's not a good idea. You see the van erosion here. Um, the most common complicated sign of van erosion is port infection. If a patient comes.